Hello fellow YouTubers, it's Underdrummer here again with another helpful how-to video. Thanks for tubing in. Today we're going to be talking about how to install three awesome mods for Planescape Torment. There are several videos on YouTube about how to install these modifications, but I would try to be as thorough and as quick to make this whole experience as painless as possible so that you can get to playing your game with all the cool mods installed. Before we go into any installations of any of the mods, make sure you back up your save games for Planescape Torment. Nobody likes to lose save data. Planescape Torment should be installed under C, if that's your main hard drive. Program Files or Program Files 86, GOG.com, Planescape Torment, and a folder in there will be called Save. Now if you see no save folder within the Planescape Torment folder, that's because you've never played the game and saved it, so this part doesn't apply to you. Make sure you right-click, copy that folder, put it somewhere safe on a flash drive, on an extended drive, somewhere else. You'll be sure not to lose any of your Planescape Torment data. We're going to be updating uh, our current saves for the new resolution that we choose. The only downside to updating our saved games is that previously explored areas will now seem unexplored. By that I mean as you move your character across the screen you'll see that black fog again. It's known as the fog of war I think and it's not really a big deal considering you're not going to lose any any character data, any progress data or inventory data. So it's not a bad trade-off to play the game in a higher resolution and for it to look nicer. Okay let's move on to the next part. The first thing that we should go and get is this little walkthrough here. Now I've got it in PDF form. You can just go to here, gog.com forward slash news forward slash mod spotlight, Planescape Torment Mods Guide. I will put this in the description. Click on that and follow along with me. Now down in the descriptions you'll see where to get modification one, which is Big's widescreen mod. The next one will be Ghost Dog's user interface mod. You can get that here at Spellhold Studios or here at moddatabase.com. Again, go to the to the links in the description, click on them, download them, and we can move on to the next step. And finally, you need the ultimate fix pack. These are the three three mods we're going to be installing. There is two other mods that I'm aware of, possibly more. I'm not going to be installing those today. And then here for the final link is where you get this uh, installation guide which I'm going to be referencing the whole time. Okay, so uh, I assume you have those. We're going to move on. Big's widescreen mod. We want to first double click on the exe file. Browse the directory on our computer where Torment is installed. We want to install the widescreen mod into the same folder. There's the widescreen mod. I would suggest right clicking, especially if you're on Windows 8, which I am, and going to compatibility I'm running it and gonna run it for Vista and run it as an administrator I did this once last night I got it to work and I had installed all these mods about a year ago but that was on Windows 7 this is on Windows 8 and I know sometimes that can cause problems so go ahead and go to compatibility mode check this for Windows Vista run as administrator apply okay double click on the exe now it doesn't get it right here it wants to install it in 86. Looks like Baldur's Gate 2. We're not going to let it do that, so we hit Browse. Go to your PC, Windows C, Program Files, or Program Files 86, wherever you decided to install it. GOG, and Planescape Torment. Just highlight that and hit OK, and then hit Install. And here we go. We have the... the uh, DOS screen up here. So the first thing you need to do is pick your language. Mine is English, so zero for English. The next thing it asks if you want to view the README. No, thanks to this video we don't need to do that, so hit no. The next thing you want to do is choose for the original Infinity Engine or for GemRB. I don't know what GemRB is and it says choose this. This is the one I've used both times that I've installed it and got it to work, so just press 1 here. And then it wants a X coordinates and it's going to ask for Y coordinates for the size you want it to dis be displayed. Now I find, especially if you're going to do any kind of recording with um, any kind of screen capture software, you want it to match your current resolution. The way to do that is right click on your desktop, go to screen resolution, mine is 1600 by 900. 
I'm going to I'm going to go with that. You can use whatever you want, but I think if you use screen capture software, it tends to mess up if you don't if you don't set it for what your actual resolution is. So X is the first coordinates it's asking for, which is 1600 by 900. Now this is the part that we had talked about before updating your saved games. If your saved games were in a different resolution, there's no way to go and tell. So if your saved games, your old saved games were in a different resolution than the resolution that you're currently choosing, you need to update your games. I would actually say, even if they are in the same resolution as you're playing in now, still go ahead and update them because the saved games can be finicky. So yes, we do want to update our saved games. And do you want to enable support for multiple resolutions? I don't know what that is. I don't. If you have two monitors, I guess. Game resolution check. 16 by 9. Yes, that's correct. Update save games. Yes, yes. Now, while that's installing, we're going to go and see what we're going to do for step two. Step two is installing Ghost Dog's incredible user interface mod. And you must have this if you install the widescreen mod. So install Ghost Dog's incredible UI mod. We're going to extract the compressed file into the same folder that we installed the widescreen mod to. And then we're going to get a choice to pick from the fonts. You should get this with Ghost Dog's um, user interface mod. It's just a JPEG that he included. This shows you what the fonts will look like on the screen. I like 40%, so I will go with 40%. If that's too large for you, stick with 20 or I think the default is too small. And if you've got a hard time seeing, go go with the 80%. So you can reference that first. This should be done here now. It is finished. Press enter. Go to where you have your Ghost Dogs user interface mod. Right click on the compressed file. Choose extract files. Now I use WinRare. You guys might have something else, WinZip, but it's all kind of the same thing if you know anything about compressed files. Just you want to extract them to a certain location. Extract to C program files. It may be times 86 for you. GOG.com, Planescape Torment. Okay, extract, yes. It's going to extract into the folder where Planescape is installed. We are then going to navigate to where Planescape is installed. Locate Ghost Dogs Setup User Interface Mod. It should be near the bottom. Right click on this, go to Properties, Compatibility. Run this in Vista as well. Uh, Vista XP or 7 is probably fine. I'm choosing to use Vista. And check run this as administrator. OK. Double click on it. Yes. Install. Do you want to install, not install, or quit? Well, we came here to install. So choose I. It will install. And eventually it will ask us what size we want the fonts to be. It's fixing all the widescreen, all the errors that were created by the widescreen mod. Um, now, after this, it says to stop and do a quick check to see if Planescape Torment runs. They don't tell you. I did this last night and was extremely confused. So it, they don't tell you not to check your save games. Your save games will still not work, even after they've been updated, until you install the Ultimate Fix Pack. So what I did was I stopped here, and I made sure Planescape Torment worked, which it did, but none of my save games worked. So I thought I had done it wrong, so I did the whole process over. Finally, I realized you need to install the Fix Pack and then check your games. So we will do this quick check. We will make sure that Planescape Torment loans, but we will not load our updated save games until after the Fix Pack. This should be finished now. I like I said 40% bigger fonts is what I want for English. Make sure you get your language in there too. Uh, the Hungarian, Polish, and Russian are down below. English, French, German, Spanish, and Italian are up top. I want 40% English. Two, hit enter. That's finished. Hit enter to exit. And now we can go do the quick check to check if the game runs properly. So far so good. I'm going to skip the black aisle screen. skip the dragon, skip the cutscene intro, and we can see that it's working just fine. So we can test it even further, go to New Life. Okay, we see that it works. Hit Escape. Yes, we'll quit. Escape again. Yes. 
And now we can continue on with the final modification, which is the fix pack. It fixes a bunch of uh, bugs left in the game. Uh, it says you'll get the option to install the following items. The ultimate fix pack by Quinn. Spelling and grammar corrections for English only, which is nice if you if you speak English. And um, cutscenes that are subtitled. I always turn on the subtitle, so I really appreciate that modification. Let's go finish the final one. Navigate to where you have your fix pack installed. Just like before, you're going to want to extract the entire archive into the game directory. We know how to do that because we've done it before. So there is the fix pack there. Right click on the compressed folder. Say extract files to, where to, C, program files or program files 86. GOG.com, Planescape Torment, OK. It'll extract, the, extract them there. It will extract them there. We, then we navigate to Planescape Torment. We locate the ultimate fix patch, which is here under setup-pst-fix.exe. We right click, properties, compatibility. Run this in compatibility mode for Vista, just like before, and run as administrator. Apply. OK, double click on the EXE. Once again, we choose our language, English. We do not need the README file. Install the ultimate fix pack by Quinn. Yes, install. Now while that's going, I'll show you this. You can double check that your saved games were updated. And I'll show you how. OK, it finished that. Install the spelling grammar corrections. Yes, I don't know why you would want the uh, to keep spelling and grammar errors in there. So, yes. And install the subtitle cutscenes. Yes. Okay, that's finished. So we hit enter. Now to double check that your save games were updated in that save folder, you can open the folder. See this this shows today's date. So it doesn't say that it was modified. But open it up and look at the .save file and you'll see that it was modified at 301 when we started this on today's date at 301. All these other ones are 2014. So you can see that this was updated today. So you know that it's it's correctly updated it. And now dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -da -da, for the final test, double click on Planescape Torment. And load an old game. Resume life. Let's see. Here's my last save in the midwife's hut. Load. And there we are. You can see that it works. Fantastic. I was speaking to the midwife. I think I was selling and buying stuff from okay. her. Comes right up. I've got all my items there. Okay, if this video helped you out at all, please comment, like, and subscribe. Also, check out my video series called Let's Play Thursdays with Under Drummer. Right now I'm going through Planescape Torment. If you watch one of the shows there at the end, you'll see my email address. Feel free to email me and uh, we'll talk about the game. Uh, Planescape so far seems to be a really cool game and I think you'll enjoy it too. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.